right now. I'm excited about this conversation because it closely ties in uh, with what we've been talking about. And just, you know, fun fact about my guest. She sang along to that whole One Direction song, word for word. Welcome to the show. Sherry, how are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for having me. You, One Direction, you yes. love them. Yes. Oh, is it that particular song? Uh, I think it's that particular song, but I love them generally. Generally, you yes, do. Yes. Okay. Although so I don't know what happened to them. They did break <laughs> up. Clipped. They yes. did. Yes. Uh, that's fine. Such is life. Yeah. <laughs> but at least we got some good music form. Yeah. Uh, Sherry, maybe you can introduce yourself to the people. We're talking about the boy child and even how this, how did you come into this space of, you know, boy child empowerment? Okay, to begin with, I just want to make it clear that yes. I am not against girl child empowerment. Let us start there. Yes. I love it. <laughs> I am not against girl child empowerment. Yeah. Uh-huh. In fact, I've been on the forefront of wanting the equality in the society for the girls. Okay. But I have I think that girl child empowerment has overly been done, has been overdone. We have forgotten the other half of human race. We've forgotten the boy. Okay. The the society right now <clears throat> the way it is treating a boy is we're assuming that boys know everything. Okay. We assume that boys grow up um, you know, packed with uh, Whatever lessons, they need for this lessons, life. Yeah, on how to mm. go about life, mm. which is actually not true. That is not true. The boy child is languishing out there. In, yeah. The boy child is dis, 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 is um, depressed. Yeah. Yeah, they have so many issues that they want to talk about, but they have no mentor. They have oh, no one to, to talk to. Nobody to listen yes. to them. And, you know, I like that you're saying that. I sat with a gentleman here who told yeah. me he has a book, um, and he says, that the girl child was raised, the boy child grew. You know how girls would be inside and would be taught how to sew, would be taught how to cook, would be taken care of. And we felt jealous of the boys because they were outside playing and being adventurous. And we thought that that is leaving. But looking back, who was guiding them in that leaving? And that is what you bring to the table today. Yes, Uh, it all started uh, half a century half 20th century ago okay. when the African tradition society found the need to empower girl child. Okay. Uh, by then women were, you know, muzzled up by men chauvinism. Uh, you wouldn't raise an issue. You were not entitled to opinions. But now came all these civil societies, the human rights, uh, even the government as well. And everything changed for the girl child we can now access education even in the higher learning we have infiltrate infiltrated um the male gender what used to be dominated by men yes, the work uh, like careers mm. we're seeing women in politics mm. we're seeing women engineers yes. and all these positions are assumingly being assumed by women mm. so um the boy child is neglected even in school you know like when we you try tracing it back, the source, how it became, that we forgot the boy child. It started way back when we were in primary school. Okay. Remember those days when uh, there used to be all these organizations who used to come to school and they would only talk to girls, all right? They would only come talk to girls, bring bad pads to girls. Actually, when we were growing up, we were, we were taught that the boy is an enemy of a girl. He is the aggressor. Mm. Like you're not even supposed to play with boys. You have to be so careful about, you know, and it all began like that. I remember when I was, I think I was in class six Mm -hmm. and there's this group of church came, talked to girls and stuff and were given these hampers. It had a pad, a hanky and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's an afternoon. When we went back to class, boys were furious. Like, why is it always girls? Why is it always a girl? Why do they always come to talk to girls? And from then, I could tell the anger in boys. And you can imagine, from that young age, boys are growing with that, boys and men. They grow with that kind of anger. Because you see, when uh, um, girl child empowerment was geared up in Africa, even men themselves reluctantly endorsed Mm. the girl child. Mm. But you see, no woman is coming out right now to discuss the plight of a boy who is languishing 
peke yake boys have no rights we assume boys have no rights they have no we have they have no rights we believe that uh, boys are not sexually harassed we believe Mostly, that yes. they don't go through child labor but they do we believe they're not discriminated mm. we believe you know we treat boys like super they can fight for themselves su superhuman beings mm. which is not the case okay and that's why probably we're seeing all these things going on when you talk of education yes like right now uh, we fought for gender equality it's there in there even in the constitution right now what a woman can do what a man can do we're saying a woman can do it better so if the, there is that equality even in school if we are attending the same system of education sitting in the same classes competing on the same platform yes all right so why is it that when it comes to job allocations nowadays hr they are preferring a woman a lot of job applications out there they will favor a woman like apply and especially if you're a woman you know yeah which is true okay. if i go for an interview and my counterpart is a male mm -hmm. you know i'm not even worried I'm a woman. There's no competition. No there. competition. Yeah. I'm a woman. Okay. So men are so men are so depressed right now, and probably that's why we're seeing all these cases of them even murdering women, mm. because a girl child has overly been empowered, and a boy has not. But what so can we do? What should we do? Because uh, this, w the woman is already empowered. Yes. We're already here. This yes. is the situation on the ground. Yes. And you're saying um, what statistics have shown is that the man is suffering in his silence. How then do we come in? What can we do that this conversation is happening now to change that or to try even with the boys that we are raising up as moms? First of all, we need to go back and see where we began when the mistake began okay from there now we we will start correcting all the wrongs that have been there before okay we need to start treating men like men you know there is no way you know i don't compare men with women it's like comparing the incomparable mm -hmm. men by nature are, are wired uh, differently from from, from women mm -hmm. with uh, certain fundamentals that we cannot achieve so I think we should stop comparing a man and a woman okay. and treat them differently. But at the same time, they are human. It's like comparing a lion and a cat. Mm. You cage them because they come from a cat family. Now you assume a cat is a lion. It yeah. can never happen. Yes, we are all educated. We go to the same classes. But I think also men should be given an equal opportunity in the society and their space in their position. There's no way a woman can fit in a man's shoe. Mm -hmm. We can never. We're losing that. Um, we're we're losing this the, the 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 power in the society. You know, the man was created to be the head, mm. but you're losing it. Men, young boys and men, they're so much into drugs. It's very easy for a man to be a drug addict. It's very easy for a young man to be imprisoned. On. It is very easy, you know, for all those things to happen. Why is that? They lack mentor. I don't know what happened to our fathers, you know, like our fathers, or as the children that we're raising. Yeah. Are we too busy to talk to boys? Mm. Because I can sit, I can sit with you, and we will discuss, you know, issues. Yes. Um, what you're going through and yeah. all that. And we we'll understand mothers, each other. Yes, our mothers. That, yes. That, they do it up to date. Our grandmother, you go to your grandmother, she will still tell you, you know, what. even up to now, you go to your grandmother, he will still, she will still tell you. Be aware of me, you know. Well, until you're a certain age, and then <laughs> you're like, "Where's the man?" <laughs> and even but if the man come, you, they told you not to stay away. Yes. And then later, where yes. is the man? Yes. And even when he shows up, yeah. Hey. So I think that, um, uh, and especially when it comes to education, you see, like a man with a, with a B plus of let's say fifty nine class the point. Mm -hmm. cannot be absorbed in the university but they remember girl, there was a difference yes but a girl with a b minus of 58 cluster point will be admitted now you wonder when we come out here we are competing on the same level we've yeah. been made to compete mm. with each other mm. so i strongly feel that uh, there should be a robust debate worldwide even let's say we start with our own country 
and this can only happen if women talk about it. Okay. Men supported boy child, so a girl child empowerment. Mm. So it is our time as women to also support it. Okay. Because we cannot, for us to have a functional uh, society, we mm. need to have a functional man yeah. and woman. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. I hear you. And I hope all the parents out there, teachers, you know, all put together are hearing this as well. And I think it also needs to go back to the government because the, it went, it, what, what they did for the girl child was amazing. And we are happy to be in that space today uh, because it was given to us, it was created for us. Somebody fought for us. So this is what you're crying out for, that we step in and help the boy child as well. Yes. And when we say or talk about having these conversations, do you have this conversation with at schools? Because that's where most of them are. Um, as parents, to know actually those conversations need to happen there a lot, how they're treated, how they're punished, and how they are rewarded as well. So you're not awarded more because you are a female or you're a girl. And because, because it's also, it doesn't come out very well as well for a woman. Then you're saying, I'm weak. <laughs> so I will want to fight for myself as well, saying, Unataka kuingia na grade ndogo kwa sabu ni mwanamke. So even women will be out there saying, what are you saying? I can't fight as much or I can't perform as much. What about the ones who performed even better? You know, so it's a whole conversation. Yeah, um, this boy-child conversation, I've started it this year, mm -hmm. like aggressively. It's been a conviction for quite some time okay. because I've been working with women. I have a group called, I uh, have an enterprise group for women. Mm -hmm. I have been assisting girls and women in terms of uh, employment. Okay. I have trained uh, 20 girls and wow. young women for free for um, beauty and cosmetology courses. And last year alone, I managed to get 182 women working. What? Yes. Last year? Yes. So that was COVID year? Yes, I did it. Wow. So uh, it triggered me late last year when I posted on my page, uh, I had a friend who wanted a woman biker, someone, a woman who can ride a bike for yes. sales and deliveries. Mm -hmm. So I posted it on my page and there's this young man who asked me, why is it always women? Why is oh it always God. about women? Why, why is it everywhere we go? All these jobs are women. Why can't... You know, why can't you have a male rider? Mm. Because I've, be, I've even been supporting women, even those who want to ride bikes, I've been doing it. I pay for their, uh, part of their fee, fee. For, training. For, for, for training how to ride bikes and all mm. that. So it, it triggered me. You know, I don't have a boy, but I was thinking, how do, really, do they really feel? about this and this one was because courageous enough my page to... it has a lot of people requesting for jobs you know do you know where i can get this i can get that i'm desperate men yeah but i was so focused oh, on no, women no, no. because i am so passionate about women based on how my mom raised me yes up. i struggled a lot with my mother mm -hmm. so i see another mother and i imagine what my mother, or I remember what my mother went through when she yeah. was raising up, yeah. and what I went through. I had a rough one when I was growing mm. up. So um, it was very easy for me to, to cling on one side. Yes. Yeah. And now it has, it has reckoned like we all need to have this aggressive discussion about boy child. I think it's, it's, I think they it's are an being, important they are being conversation They being recruited into cults. Mm. They can easily be recruited into all these cults and, yeah. um, you know, crime. Mm. We see young boys on a motorbike stealing in their teenagers. It, but in, instead of the us, the society, yes finding a solution to understand why we are these, them. we castigate. Yes. Like today I woke up to some news on um, on Facebook. There was this lady who killed three men in somewhere in Kahawa. I don't know if it's Kahawa, but you see her doing that, it is not going as viral as the other young man the other day who killed his wife. Mm -hmm. You know? 
I wish the society... And we're not saying that we should go out there doing any of these things. Yes. Yeah. It's we're just, not saying mm. it. But I think the society should treat matters equally. If a man who killed his wife, we can, you know, as women, we will, we will spread the gospel. We want this, uh, we want this justice man... Justice for... We want justice for mm. these women. Mm -hmm. How about this woman who killed three men in cold blood? Okay. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. And I mean, told our time is out, but I would also would not want to let you go before I know how we can be part of the movement, how we can help you spread this message even wider. Yes. How can we do that? Uh, you can reach me on my Facebook page, mm -hmm. Sherry LaBelle. Instagram is mm -hmm. still Sherry LaBelle. Mm -hmm. And I would kindly request all women in this country to join in. And we need to help children. our sons, mm. our husbands, yes. our boyfriends to be. Because if we have daughters, we do not want to, you know, to hand them over to a society of that them. So true. Yes. Asante Sana Sherry. Thank you so and much. And I hope you've had, it starts at home. If you can do anything right there, then it goes a long way with the ripple effect of what happens when that child grows up. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. Welcome back.